Welcome everybody to a free-to-play game called Time to Strike. I, I believe it's a reverse bullet hell. I saw Retro playing this and I was like, I gotta check that out. WASD, left click to shoot, right click to melee, space to dash. Got it, that's maybe a little bit loud. Choose an ability, turret, mag throw, or shurikens. Turret is every five seconds, summon a turret. Turret will shoot to nearby enemies, last for four seconds. Turret will inherit all abilities, stats, and effects. Mag throw, last ammo shot, throw a bouncy magazine to nearest enemy, can hit the same enemy multiple times. Shuriken, bullets deflected, 60% chance to shoot bouncing shuriken. I can deflect bullets, sounds like. Let's try the turret, though. Like Casey style. Okay. Nice. Play Backpack Hero, please. Holster, 20% damage, attack rate plus 25%, minus 10% speed penalty, and plus 7 spread. Minion death, spawn two critters. Training manual, plus two max health, plus movement speed, but minus spread. Minus spread probably is a good thing. Let's try the parasite. Hey, where are my critters? Oh yeah, I totally deflected those bullets. Time blast! Time slowed down, shoot explosive shots to two enemies. What? This is an active? This is an ability. Slow down, slow motion ends, create explosion, and summon two voidlings. Every 0.25 seconds attack nearby enemy. Knuckles. Let's go call the void. Summon build. This is a, I'm a summoner. So that was the time slow. Is it like automatic time slow on uh, enemy killed? Plus 25% minion attack rate. Minion's death creates explosions though. Try it. Lot more bullets. Lot more bullets. Shurikens. Double cannon. Every 0.28 seconds, shoot two explosive shots to nearby enemy. Second shot is weaker. No stamina. Okay, we're, we're seeing the minions and stuff now. Dev is English as a second language, prob probably. Scope, plus range, plus speed, but minus and minus spread. Um, enemy hits, 35% chance to gain ammo. Sparks, enemy hit, shoot bullet to nearest enemy. I'm gonna try the scope. I think the range needs work. Select an ability to apply the scope to. I could get an even longer reach on my my bat. I'm gonna go maybe this is the blaster is what I really wanted. Okay, I'm a spawned on me. That was tricky. Holster, Echo, explosion created, 40% chance to create another explosion. Explosion build? Oh, that guy did a little death rattle there that I missed. This guy does. It's kind of interesting how, like, the, the thing ends and you get, like, sucked into, like, some void that pops to this screen and then you go to the next thing. It'd be kind of nice if you were able to just walk into that yourself or if that went a lot slower. It's just so much going on that I'm like, ah, ah what happened? Did I die? Twin strike. Plus bullet, plus spread, minus range, minus size. Enemy hit shoots bullets near to enemy. 
nearest enemy, I mean, attack, throw a bouncing blade to random enemy. I'm gonna go to twin strike here. <sighs> on blaster, maybe. On my on my turret. Get my turret a little something spicy. Yield something something. Big guy, what do you do? Not a whole lot. Just be big. It's really into the whole being big thing. This kind of makes me feel like it's, you know, similar to Snake Remix-ish. Hey, it looks like you die each time, right? When I get sucked up. Plus minion attack rate, but more explosions. Plus damage, plus piercing, but minus fire rate. Holster, plus damage, plus attack rate, minus speed penalty. And let's try the holster. Damage sounds nice for right now. Bullet deflection is nice. I like that kind of thing. Boss time? I'm still a little confused as to like when my abilities are going off. I think it's every single time I right click that maybe my bat is an ability and it procs all other abilities that I have, like the time slow. Unknown tomb. Enemy death, 25% chance to summon a zombie. Explosion created, create another explosion. It's times three too. Uh, plus explosion damage and explosion size. Will we go and summon or explosion? Because we're, we're kind of hard on the explosions now. Plus 50% explosion damage times three. Explosion, tomb. Boom. Gunpowder. lot going on here. That's one thing that I think that uh, these kinds of games suffer from is just the visibility. I remember I was describing Isaac as a simplistic kind of game and all I meant with that is that like at least for the first five or six floors it's like there's an enemy over there there's my bullet i know exactly when i'm shooting i know where it's going i know where the enemy is moving i know if the enemy is shooting and you can just basically see everything and be like i'm gonna dodge that single bullet and a game like this is just like and like a lot of games that are being made recently that are just, it's just almost too much i'm not saying that isaac can't get to the point where it's ridiculous sting shot plus damage plus piercing minus size I'm fine with that in my blaster. I don't know what, like, piercing would do, like, on the bat, for example. Not sure why I would get that upgrade, but, you know, you don't know until you try it, right? I think just, like I'm saying, visually it's hard to get on top of something like that. It's making my head kind of hurt with all the effects. Looks interesting though. And it's free, so plus, 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 plus already there. Max health, move speed, mind spread. Damage piercing attack. I'm gonna go with the move speed. And a lot more death rattle going on. If it wasn't for the time slows, I think I'd be in deep doo doo. Explosive surprise. Enemy hit 40% chance. Okay, we already had that one. Overclock plus attack rate plus spread. Yeah. Let's 
try attack. I, I can't do my blaster anymore. <gasps> no. Double cannon. What's double cannon again? Wish it would tell me what it what it did. Even more twin strike on the turret. How about twin strike on my? Oh, it's actually called time strike. So obviously time slow is happening when I'm right clicking. Does that look like two? It might. It might be two bats that are flying around. I don't know. I don't really think I would gain a whole lot if there were two bats, because I'm mostly using it for the deflection. Unless they were incredibly delayed, you're not going to notice. Destruction protocol. Death explosions. Holster again. Echo. Explosion created. 4% chance. I wonder if it's 80 now. No chance that enemies explode. Am, am I creating the explosion? It seems like I'm creating the explosion when enemies die. Or maybe they are too. I don't know. We're both doing it. What are my abilities again? Explosion surprise, twin strike, cocoon, enemy hit, 20% chance to summon one critter. Alright, I guess. I really like the idea of being able to apply effects to different weapons and different abilities. I am, however, doubting the usefulness of a lot of them. <laughs> I like Twin Strike on my my bat. It'd be really nice if the Twin Strike was like, you swing once, and then like maybe a second later you swing a second time. Therefore, if there was a larger bullet cloud or enemies coming towards you, there'd be usefulness there instead of just looking like it's going like, swing, swing! Uh, maybe it would do double damage, but... Uh, plus damage, plus range, plus size, minus speed. Here's your tomb. Here's your zombies, chat. Did we see any zombies there? If there were zombies there, I have no idea what they look like. Also, these critters... I don't know what those look like either. It's too much to, to see. Ender G with Prime Sub, thank you for that. And kill him, I missed your raid there. Thanks for the raid. Huts did play Disfigure. Bag of blades. Throw a bouncing blade to random enemy. On the call of the void, sure. I think that's the ghosts that pop out when, when enemies die. Little orange things. I get ammo? Is it this thing? Yes. Let's see here. Bigger explosions. So is there a difference between the green explosions and the orange explosions? I could not tell yet. Okay, ow. I thought I took damage there, but I don't see any damage being taken. Maybe I'm not seeing it correctly, I don't know. Plus damage, plus spread. Plus range, speed, minus spread. Plus damage on our double cannon, whatever that is. Okay, definitely got hit there, but it's got I got shields, right? Orange is shields. Oh, 
last wave. Death rattle guys, if I get really close to their their corpses as they, they die, I can Oh wow. Probably shoot a lot of those spreads back. Like that. We got him. Victory! New fastest time, no way. Disjoint, this looks so confusing, says Ryanathon. Interesting, I don't think that that's necessary for the timer to go that long. In recounting. In fact, I think I'd rather see the kills go up slowly than the timer. Alright, let's do another one. I think after this chat, we're gonna play Patrick. Patrick's house. Turret, blade dance. Enemy death, shoot four blades to random enemies. Bullet deflected, 60% chance to shoot. We're deflecting a lot of bullets, that sounds nice. Get back, you. So I hit enemies with the bat, and I actually get ammo back that way. Got it. We'll try the quiver. We avoided the quiver at all costs last time. Plus damage, lower fire rate. Okay, I swung and hit nothing. That did not reload. Or blade dance. Time slowed, shoot explosive shots. Beast mask. Every 3.3 seconds, summon one critter. Any critter spawn, 20% chance to shoot three bullets near your enemy. Oh, I mean, it sounds cool, but I didn't notice the critters last time. Time blast. And we're gonna have a, a time bat build. Look at that. This game's cute. Hive, that's an avocado. Spawn three critters every eight seconds. Or a 25% chance zombie. I guess I'll go hive. Chat, keep a lookout for what the heck a critter is. Some somebody call me. Those green things, the green things. I saw them. I thought they were the green things, but the only time that I ever, ever saw the green things was after I cleared everything and they were just sitting there doing nothing. And I was like, ah. I think the critters are the dark faces that show up. Just kill a Mac. I think it might be the green things. Vulture gain the ability to eat enemy corpses. Corpse eat, shoot bursts of bullets to nearby enemies, and summon two critters. Grenade barrage. Last ammo shot or gr three grenades. Oh, we're not shooting that quickly. The vulture. Yeah. Look at that. I'm eating them. I'm eating them. At the very least, I'm summoning a bunch of critters that are then attacking when things spawn. Juice. Plus damage, plus knockback, plus size, but minus range. Enemy hit, shoot a bullet. Silver bullet, 75% damage plus spread. I think that we could do silver bullet on our bat. So I can actually kill people with it. Gotta really be careful about uh, eating the corpses when we start getting enemies that do the death rattle. More hive. Or minus speed and plus a bunch of other stuff. Hive. Hive me. That guy explodes on death. I didn't notice more critters there. Maybe they're stronger critters. Plus some surprise. Bag of blades. Attack, throw a bouncing blade. Plus range speed, minus spread. Speed. Hmm. Go bag of blades. 
on Shuriken? On Vulture? Yeah, I don't know. Very strong. In there, but we need stamina. Right, the only thing that holding us back right now is the lack of stamina. Can't just change the category to whatever I want, unfortunately. I tried. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is like an itch.io category. I don't know. General gaming. Explosive critters! Plus two critter health. Critters spawn 25% chance to spawn explosive critter that will explode on contact. Explosion damage scales with critters health. Come on. Wham! Idiot. Gotta spawn them critters. Now we want explosion size again. Look at this. Look at this absolute destruction. All damn critters. damage for the first time ever. Oh, it sucks that you don't just auto-grab things at the end. Or at least what I saw. It seems like you didn't. Max health plus, movement speed plus, but minus and minus spread. Minion death spawn two critters. Or explosion damage plus. I gotta go more critters. We go all in on these freaking critters. are going off. 20% chance to summon one critter on uh, the shuriken seem to be doing a he heck of a lot. Well, maybe vulture. Maybe it applies to everything. All the bullets that come out when enemies uh, when, when I step on their dead bodies. Like that. Minion death spawn critters. I'm so slow. the upgrade that I wanted to pick up. Okay. Attack rate? Or damage and spread? Damage and spread on... Just the blaster. Go for it. Red just doesn't even seem to apply. No stamina. Took a hit there. Took another hit there. These are a group of beavers. Critter's doing decent damage. Casey run. 
Eight second spawn critters. Damage taken spawn critters, or just parasite minion death spawn critters. Hive, more hive. Oh my god, the guy just blasted me. Point blank. No stamina, I'm dying. Scope, silver bullet, recycler. Chance to gain ammo. One hit. If it, is it anything that hits? Or specifically, you put it on something, right? Like Vulture. Enemy dies, eat the corpse that goes out, maybe gives me animal back. Oop. I did get one bullet back from touching that. that bullet. Not as deadly as the last run. When everything was just dying because of all the explosions and I never got to even see what happened. Echo, training manual, quiver. Max health, movement speed. We are pretty slow. The guy just changed directions on me. Movement speed would be really nice for touching the dead bodies. Sting shot. Twin strike. Dark rune. Attack. 20% chance to summon zombie. I don't know what that would do if I put that on the Time Blast. Is the Time Blast actually like going out and doing damage? If the Time Blast doesn't do damage, then how is it going to spawn anything? Or it's just maybe 20% of the time that you do a Time Blast ever, there's a chance to get the zombie. Flaming Hot Fledge rated with seven viewers. Thanks, Flaming Hot Fledge. Appreciate it. Lucky number seven. Twin strike could be cool, just on my blasters, see if I can do something positive with that. Why are they so tanky now? I need stamina! Ah! More movement speed. These guys are very dangerous when they shoot. No stamp. Touch the bodies, touch the bodies, touch the bodies. Air bodies, touch the bodies. Third percent chance to spawn critter on my shurikens. Guaranteed shurikens when I do my swing. Ooh, 
Nice shot, buddy. Grab that health, please. Electricity bolt that oh good position for me. It's stamina for more bat swing deflections. We got him. That was a pretty good run. The Vulture doing a lot there. The Critters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on this free-to-play game. I think I heard something about this coming to Steam at some point in time. Maybe more content to it, who knows. But yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts and we'll see you in the next one.